What's up, y'all? In New York. Look at the view. Abby's in the background over here working on some stuff. Say what's up, Abby. All right. And now you guys think it's weird that I talk to myself. I'm going to do it in front of my friend because I want to have a conversation with myself about some YouTube stuff. So I told myself that today was going to be a YouTube day for me and that amongst the next couple of days that I get to prepare for the upcoming year, I want to, um, I want to be a bit more intentional moving forward with my YouTube, start incorporating things that I really like, that I want to make content on, incorporating those into my channel and also try and challenge myself with like a project once a month. So basically we're going to start from zero. I am going to start from the very beginning and ask myself some questions about YouTube right now um, to figure it out. So let me just start. Um, all right. So Carrington, what do you want to talk about today? Well, I want to talk about YouTube. Um, I want to be better at YouTube. I think that I've been making a lot of videos and I'm proud of myself for doing that, but I'm not exactly taking intentional action to get, you know, 1% better with every video, something like that, which sounds a bit daunting and sounds a bit immeasurable because how do you make a video 1% be better if you're not? If you're not, um, if you're not gauging success based on, you know, just solely views, you know what I mean? It's pretty intangible how to make a video 1% better. But anyways, I, um, I want to get better at YouTube the next year. I want to have, I don't know if that means more of a schedule. I don't know if it means more targeted content. I don't know if that means you know, doing more stuff that I really enjoy doing, but I want to just do something better with YouTube. Okay, Carrington. Coffee. Carrington, what did you like most about doing YouTube this year? What made you the happiest about doing YouTube where you felt like it was good? What did I like? Okay. So what did you like and dislike, Carrington? Um, off the top of my head, I like making videos where I'm talking with my friends about it. I like the, like, being normal interviews. I like those where I'm just talking with my friends and just like people doing the same stuff as me or different stuff, but I like talking with people and also um, seeing people. Um, I also like that it gives people more of a platform to like be themselves on because some of my friends struggle with like being themselves online, but I know them personally and I know that yeah, you have followers who know you for being funny or cool or whatever, but, like, you're also, like, a good person and a cool person and, you know, worth uh, worth talking with these people on. So um, I think that that's cool. Um, so, yeah, I like, I like those things where I'm talking with people. Okay. Carrington, what's something else that you liked? Um, I mean, I like playing the Pokemon stuff. I like opening the cards and playing the game online. I like doing this Pokemon stuff, but I, um, but I, uh, 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 I, I record it because it's easy to record it. You know, I do it cause I might as well and it incentivizes myself, but I, I, it is play for me. That's very fun. Okay. So you like Pokemon stuff. Okay. That's cool. Yeah. Let's just talk more about content, too, in terms of this stuff. I also liked My Hero Rumble. That game's really fun. I really like that game. Yeah, Abby, I really like gaming. I really like streaming. Okay, so lead into that. 
Should I do it through TikTok or Twitch? Everyone does it through Twitch though, right? I know, but TikTok, it just works so well with me. Twitch, I'll have 10 viewers. TikTok, I'll have like a lot. We do they have everything you need to be streaming and gaming? Yeah. Yeah, maybe. I think all these companies are always trying to like... Push it. Yeah. I wasn't really getting insane traction when I would stream for six hours at a time because you kind of have to go in one hour intervals, but like. In TikTok? That, that's something we're figuring out, but that's something that I just figured out. I really like streaming. Streaming makes me really happy, and that's not something I've really done that much. I mean, I have done a lot of live streaming when I first started, but streaming is. Um, streaming's legit. Streaming. Let me write that. Okay, so I like the Pokemon stuff, I like the My Hero Rumble stuff. I like talking about content, um, like social media education. I like talking about, oh, talking about my books. I also liked talking about um, being clear-headed. Um, I like answering questions too. I like talking about modeling. Okay, okay, Carrington. Okay, but Carrington, why, why did you want me to write down a bunch of stuff that I like? Now I just know a bunch of stuff I like and I feel like I have a billion things. Okay, Carrington, relax. Chill out. I just wanted to know what you like. What do you want? I want a couple goals for content on YouTube that I want to produce. Off the top of your head, what do you want to do? I want to do a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon playthrough. You want goals. I want to have, like, I want to introduce more of my like gaming side because I really enjoy doing that and by doing that I want to do a a, a, a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon playthrough Okay, you wanna do a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon playthrough, yep. I wanna have, I wanna in January, at, I wanna, on January 31st, is there 31 days in January? I want January 31st, I have a full playthrough on my YouTube channel of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. It's pretty badass. Yeah, we need consistency. <laughs> it's supportive, <laughs> supportive friend. That's badass. And it's not, okay, Carrington, you know it's not gonna get a lot of views though, right? You know that playing Pokemon, your followers aren't interested in, in you doing that. You have no presence online where you do Pokemon stuff. Yeah, but it will get me started. I'll start somewhere. I'll keep putting my foot in the door in Pokemon world. It makes me happy. It makes me happy, and that's that's why I can do it. That's enough of a reason to do it. Why do I want to do it? Because it makes me happy. Why do I? Why do you want to do it, Carrington? Because it makes me happy. That's why. Because it makes me happy. Because it makes me happy. It makes me happy. Setting it up will be that will be its own thing. That will be easy. That will be easy. Tell yourself it will be easy. That will be easy. It will take. It won't take any more than one day to figure out 
how to play and record the game. Okay. And then, then what, Carrington? Then I'll do it every single day. Do a playthrough every single day. Okay. Okay, Carrington. You want to do that? Okay, what's next? Next thing I'm thinking about is modeling content will do well. That's what I'm thinking right now. I think I've been in a spot where I've been making YouTube videos, but what has been what I've been disliking about YouTube is that I feel like, especially last month was a bit of a, a fluke because I just was doing something else, but I felt like I was regurgitating a lot of the same content. And the way I want to get around that is by giving myself things that I actually want to make a video on that aren't just like brain dumps. You know what I mean? So that means targeted videos targeted videos towards my demographic similarly to if i wanted to become like if i wanted to be a, a youtuber who only talks about modeling which i don't i want to be more things than that but i do want to talk about that stuff and i know that people would watch that video which is good to build traction on my youtube channel i should go on google or quora and look up modeling questions and you know, the top five questions go into depth on how to, uh, on how to do those things. I should make videos on that. Maybe once a week, make a modeling video. I could even do that more. I could just get in that mode where I make a bunch of modeling videos. I could do that right after this video. Yeah, I could. Okay. Modeling videos. And Carrington, I, I actually like that you said modeling videos. Now I know that you, I know that you're really excited to play Pokemon because that's very play to you. It's very fun. But also, modeling is still fun and play to you. And modeling is also something that like a, a strength that you can lean into. And I think that that's totally yeah. No, I think that's true. It is totally a strength for me where I can talk about that and people on my social media know that I'm a model and they know that that's been my thing and. Even on YouTube, I feel like I've mentioned it a lot, but I don't really talk about it. I have a couple of videos where I talk about it, but I think that uh, modeling, modeling stuff will be a, oh my gosh, oh, oh my, wow. I think modeling stuff will be really good. Um, okay. Okay, Carrington, so modeling, I think that's great. And you know what else, Carrington? I think that you could go far if you make more modeling content. I actually think that that could take you pretty modeling Mondays. What do you think about that? Modeling Mondays and then walk through Wednesday, Wednesdays. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Modeling. Wait, that's kind of cunt. <laughs> okay. Modeling Mondays. Modeling Mondays. Okay, well, okay, don't get lost in the name. The name sounds cooler than you actually doing it. But like, Modeling Mondays. <laughs> I'll put that, Modeling Mondays. Okay, okay, so you have Modeling Okay, Carrington, so this, this is good right now. So you've done your Pokemon Mystery Dungeon playthrough and you've also done your modeling videos. What else are you interested in? I want to make a Cedric Responsibility movie. That sounds hard for me to do. To make a full movie about Cedric Responsibility. Would it be good? Probably not. Probably not. Could you do it? Yeah. I could do it. Have you done it? Nope. So can you say that you can do it? Yeah, but I haven't done it. I need to do it so I can say, okay, all right. Carrington. Could you do that, Carrington? Yeah, I could do that. I could do that. What are you thinking, Carrington? I'm... Okay, you also talk about your clothes. Look at my ADHD fucking... But I would really like to have a, a 
See, Carrington, wh wh why do you even mention centric responsibility? Why are you even talking about you want to make a movie about centric responsibility? When have you wanted to do that? That was just something that you laughed about in, on TikTok and then you kind of let it die. Well, first of all, I think it's really funny. I don't think it's super funny right now because I'm not in that mode, but I know that it still is funny, and a lot of people have been talking to me about it. Like, I've had a lot of people mention such responsibility to me. I know it's an idea that people like, and I just, I also wanna challenge myself. I wanna challenge myself to, to actually, like, try to make a Cedric Responsibility movie. I want to actually try to do that. And, okay, Scarrington, so what does that really mean to you? It just means I want to make a fully edited movie where I try and be Cedric Responsibility. And I want to make it kind of like a vloggy style where like I have a cameraman, but I'm also like, where I have a cameraman, but I'm also like, shows me out and about. And it'd be a fun acting thing too. Wait, being like Cedric responsibility, might be good. It helped me with keeping a straight fucking face. Cedric responsibility movie. Okay, Carrington, so you just talked about... Are you sure you can still keep working on me? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Carrington, these are all great ideas. Um, I don't want to make you explain everything, because you don't need to explain everything that you want to do. You just wanting to do it is enough. Now, you... So the the goal of this was to have a little bit more intention, play to your strengths, grow the YouTube channel. First of all, I think the biggest way to do that is through, I think the biggest way to do that is through modeling stuff, actually, now that I speak about it. I think what has been your biggest content, it's been modeling stuff and then stuff where I talked about being clear headed and, and sobriety. Those have been my biggest videos, and also the interviews. So what have been my, my biggest videos? My biggest videos have been modeling, or no, well, actually it's been clear-mindedness and, and not smoking and stuff. And then um, interviews. Slash collabs, and then, and then modeling. Okay. Um, okay, so those are your biggest things, and those are easy for you to talk about. Now, the, talking about the whole, like, I don't really drink anymore. Like, I don't that stuff. That content is good and does well. I, I have a big mental block talking about it because I feel like me talking about that stuff invites people to, I don't know. I just feel like a douche talking about that stuff. Because I think it's worth sharing, but like, I don't, I don't want to be annoying and preachy about that stuff. Like that's just kind of something I do. And then like, that just kind of is, you know, like I work out, I don't talk about working out in every video though, but I don't do that either. What do you think, Avi? Like talking about like, cause uh, I'm thinking about videos that have done really well for me. And a lot of videos that have done really well for me are videos where I'm talking about, um, what you call it, uh, sobriety and like, well, not a lot. I've made two videos about it. And they've done really well. But um, I'm just like, I, I don't like making, like, I like talking about it, but I feel like douche preachy talking about it. You're not preaching about it. 
I'm not. But I think I feel like it also like invites people to be like, oh, like this is like this is like a substance abuser, which like I'm not. <laughs> but like me talking about like, hey guys, that makes me sound like I am. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. I did smoke too much weed, but you but you get what I'm saying? It's like I don't want to be like, oh, I'm the sober guy. Yeah, like I don't, I don't want to be that trope. You know what I mean? Like that's just, you know what I mean. But I do like, I feel like I could talk about it, but I don't like that it opens up the, you know what I mean? I don't like that it opens up the door for like all this other stuff. Yeah, and then also like making videos about that, like. I don't, I don't know. What do you think about that? If you enjoy doing it, you should. If I enjoy it, I should, but like... But if you enjoy it, don't do it just because it's doing well. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Maybe I'll, I'll have, you know, more to say about in the future, but I think it's just kind of like a lifestyle thing. Yeah, so maybe, yeah, I don't really want to talk about that stuff. But it has done well for me, but yeah, I don't want to talk about it. Okay, so I won't. Okay, so don't. People know it, and if they ask, you can answer about it. You know, but whenever I talk about not wanting to do things, I always do things. Same thing. Okay. Okay, so that was my brain dumb on that. Okay, so Carrington, you don't have to talk about it, and you can if you want. But it doesn't matter if those get views and clicks, because that's not what you want to be known for anyways. It's like, I'm the sober guy. Don't talk about it. Okay, I don't want to talk about it. All right. Talk about it when you want to. Okay. So that's a whatever category. I don't care. That's like, sure. So the next thing is the, is the interviews and collabs and modeling stuff. Well, I can talk about that stuff all day. Okay. So do that more. Okay. So modeling and interview and collabs. We want to talk about. Okay. So. Okay. This is good. Carrington, how do you feel about talking about all this now? Carrington, you just listed, you just talked about your whole experience on YouTube up until this point. What are your thoughts right now? Carrington, what are you thinking right now? We don't have to say anything, but just tell me what you're thinking right now about talking about all this stuff. Well, I feel good. I feel like there is, first of all, I don't feel like it's a job to make YouTube videos. I enjoy yapping, you know, I'm good at just yapping about things. Um, I think now I just, you know, and I've also figured out how to be more intentional about things. I think maybe, you know, some sort of weekly kind of checklist type thing where you can, uh, you know, I can touch on a couple topics that I do know will perform well in the YouTube search engine and th have those things to help grow and promote my channel. But also, you know, unlike TikTok, where all you want to do is optimize for the masses, like I still want to make videos for the people who follow me, who like what I talk about. So like, I'm not like, so first of all, we're not converting the kind of YouTuber I am. That's what, that's what's, first of all, let's lock that in. Carrington, we're not just folding to make videos that are going to do well, okay? This isn't TikTok. I think you can still incorporate it, but I think that what you're doing is good. You're getting a lot of positive feedback, and you enjoy the kind of videos that you're making, so you're going to continue doing those. But when you don't feel inspired to make videos on you just brain dumping, you now have actionable things that are worth you making videos about. What are those? Well, it is modeling stuff and doing interviews and collabs with your friends and maybe revisiting collabs. Uh, okay. Uh, uh. Okay. Okay. And then you have your goals as well. So now amongst, so now you've just opened up the door for what you can make more. So originally what you had going on on YouTube is that, yeah, I just get on YouTube and I just talk about whatever. Great, good, fine, fun. 
but a problem we've occur that we've encountered like a hundred days into doing that. I think I've made like a hundred videos in a row, Avi. Wow. That's that's insane. That's insane. Um, I think what we have done with that is uh, uh, now you have those, but we encountered a problem of like being repetitive in your videos, and the way that we can avoid that, Carrington, is by. Uh, having kind of a, uh, oh man, having a group of other videos that will, um, having a group of other videos that will, that you can make when you don't want to talk about the same thing you've been talking about. Because some things that you do, you just need to do, and then you, you talk about them later. That's also something, like talking about things later. You know what, actually, Carrington, I'm glad that you said that because talking about certain things in my YouTube videos, I dislike how I brought up certain things more than once after, like before having done them. Like, this is like my now second or third time talking about centric responsibility and things like that, or like making a, a Carrington reality show or something like that, and that is, um, I think that all that stuff is great, but um, I think that uh, oh, less talking and more doing, and I think the reason I've been talking about it, even though I'm not someone who's very like, um, let me talk about this thing, is because I have not had other things to talk about. Now you've just given yourself something else to talk about. How to become a model 2024. That's a great idea. You heard that? You heard that banger? Yeah. <laughs> On Mondays. <laughs> Bitches smoke, dope. Okay. Now, now what, Carrington? So now, I mean, honestly, I feel good. I feel, I feel like there, I have a lot of intention behind these things. Um, so, 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 what's, Carrington, so what, what do you want now? I feel good about it. I feel honestly good. I feel like I know what I need to do. And I also, YouTube is not hard for me. Like I'm sitting here, this is my third YouTube video I've made in the past like three hours. Like, you know, I enjoy making the videos. I think just keep going, um, keep making videos. Um, okay, all right, Carrington. Okay, so in terms of the content, we're, we're, we're good with the content that you're making, right? Are, are we good? Yeah, I think that we've touched on fun things, you know, more Pokemon content that I can make that's, you know, fills my cup, that makes me happy. But also, we've touched on things that do well in numbers, that are good for the overall growth in the channel, that are also good for my personal brand identity, things that I am knowledgeable about that I can talk about, like learning about uh, how to make stuff on social media, like learning how to do well on social media, and also modeling. Uh, and, then, uh, and then, like, you also have written down a lot of other subcategories that you can talk about that, you know, is fun for you, and also... Um, uh, I also wrote down, like, I like talking about businessy shit, like, my clothing brand and things like that. Okay, Carrington. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's getting cold in here. Okay. So, now what, Carrington? So, you figured out the content portion. Now, how can we get better in the other areas of that. Okay, well, what does that mean, Carrington? Well, I'm talking about things like thumbnails and video titles and, and SEO. Oh, I'm, I'm getting cold in here. Let me, let me throw my hoodie on. If I go to L, I'm getting, look, we're, we're getting an outfit change intermission. Guys, thanks for watching this video. I hope you guys are getting value out of this. I'm, I certainly am. Where's my pens? Oh.
if I go to hell. Oh man, I'm on my level, yeah. I'm on my level, yeah. I'm on my level, yeah. Hey, Carrington, this is awesome. Um, man, I just enjoy what I do so much. Like we're getting the whole outfit switch. Going into the beanie next. All right, Carrington. Next, we are talking about how to optimize in how to be better on the areas that aren't just content. Some more of the actual logistics of YouTube. Carrington, let's be honest with yourself right now. Let's be honest with ourselves. You're doing fine at posting, but if you're good at that, you need to comp you you need to get better at the other areas where you're not as good at. Okay, Carrington, what does that mean? Well, Carrington, the first one that's staring you in the face is editing your videos, but we don't want to do that. Why do you want to do it? I like how I do my videos now. I like that they're unhinged. I like that I make the video and I post it. And honestly, that's a huge reason why I'm able to post so much because I know that after I do it, I'm not setting myself up for three more hours of work. All that I have to do is, all that I have to do is schedule, schedule the thing to post while I'm sleeping and I wake up and the video's posted. Your, your, your main issue with uploading videos is just the time it takes to upload, okay? But now let's talk about these other things which are, boom, boom, boom. You guessed it, the actual tangibles, like video, like, did you get food? Yeah, the actual tangibles, like, what are the actual things that you can improve? Hey, I, is this distracting? No. Are you getting I, it done? I'm doing some fun stuff. What's fun? Looking at flights and stuff. For what? Travel. For Paris? For Zurich, Paris, I'm putting like some dates and places. Zurich, Paris, Amsterdam. What about the second one? What? What about the second letter? Paris? Referral. Oh, yeah, it's going on. Almost. Is the first one done? Yes. Is it actually done? Yeah, it's done. What about the second one? I'm going. Yeah. Okay. Um, now, now, next is the... Um, okay, Carrington, stop fucking talking about it. What, what are you talking about? Okay, I'm talking about um, thumbnails... Um, hashtags, tags, I'm talking about, um, um, thumbnail, oh, I'm talking about video titles, I'm talking about, uh, descriptions, I'm talking about links to other socials. I'm also talking about um uh, but you think that I need to have like so I like how my videos are do you think I really need to have something at the end of my video like if you like this you know, like fuck that like like share subscribe, subscribe no not like like share subscribe like fuck that I probably should say that honestly that's what everyone does I know that's what everyone does it's just so lame um but then also, but I'm also talking about, um, smash like yeah, smash that like button for good luck. For good luck. Um, I can't bait my followers like that. Um, and, but I'm talking about, um, what you call it, dude. Like for more content, like, like this is a link to my this and that and that and blah, 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 blah. Oh, oh, I'm plugging my clothing brand beginning of videos. Okay. You know we got one shot to the brain. Okay. Um... Okay, Carrington, what, what are you trying to figure out? Carrington, relax. What are, you do, what are you doing right now? What do you want? I just want to get...
get better at more of the tangible things of YouTube. I want to optimize my YouTube a little bit more. That can be done through better thumbnails. It can be done through better video titles. It can be done by better descriptions that help with SEO. It can be done by tags. It can be done by sharing it more on my social medias. But what do you actually want to do? Well, I don't, I don't really know about like if I have to do like the whole thumbnail thing. I don't really like the whole thumbnail thing at all. It's not really about that. I know it helps. I know I might need to play that game a little bit, but I don't want to have these Mr. Beastie. Not that anyone's telling me to do that, but I also like the rawness of my videos where it's just like me like, uh, you know what I mean? I think it maybe makes it a little bit less digestible because it's not catered towards like a short attention span. Like it's going to catch your eye in the search engine and you're going to click on my video. But I do think like I do think it adds charm but also I don't think it's worth super ignoring I think maybe that for videos that are supposed to be more like targeted like that um, I think that maybe it might be worth making a thumbnail for that but maybe videos that I want to be chill and talking about whatever I can just talk about my own stuff Okay, Carrington, I really like what you've been saying right now, but I think you're kind of going overkill right now, and I think you've already made a really good base plan. Do you have anything you want to talk about YouTube? Is there anything worth playing right now? No? Okay, so Carrington, what did you... So what, what's your overall idea? Well, I kind of walked into this conversation thinking, like, YouTube is floating in the air, and, you know, whenever a video comes to me, I, you know, grab it, and I make a video, and I do that, and that's why I've been doing it for, like, 100 days. But now, now I am I have more direction behind it, and I do have things that I want to and can do. And I think all I need to do about it now is just maybe make a little written thing for my YouTube, like an idea bank, um, you know, weekly goals, idea bank and weekly goals, and a list of things that are worth optimizing and then just have it accessible to me. Look, let's not take the fun out of it. Okay, so now we have our YouTube, what would I call this? Like my YouTube form, my YouTube, like uh, just something that I would look at that has like ideas, it has goals for the year, like, it has things that I can improve on, like. Yeah, like the YouTube Notion. Makes YouTube Notion? No, this will be my YouTube Notes. YouTube. No, they say the 26, yeah. Getting a billion views on YouTube is crazy. Yeah. A billion views. For one video or like overall? <laughs> one video is crazy. One video only? That's like you made Gundam style. Yeah, the music. I think a lot of music videos get it, man. Like they reference music. I don't think anyone watches music videos anymore, though. I mean, yeah. Um, but they have a lot of repeat value. Yeah. That's also something like, worth thinking about. Like workout videos. People always play it when they're working out. For sure. Like, I watch that ab video every day. Yeah, and she, she run those abs every day. That's what I should do. Oh, I also want to do affirmation and ab workout, maybe. Okay, so for YouTube notes, 
first. Um, well, should I also list my goals for YouTube? Might as well while I'm talking about it. Million subs. Million subs this year. Million subs. Million subs. I need an advisory advisory board, Abby. I need I need a high council. Do what for an idea so far? Yeah, that's what I realized I was doing to you right now. <laughs> I'm like I keep looking back. Like, what do you think? <laughs> it's like advisor. <laughs> um. Okay. What are my goals? I want. Okay, so let me let me write down my goals first in this page as well. So goals. Um, one million subs. I want to hit fifty k a month revenue. Um video a day um, what's another goal that I've been talking about that I might not acknowledge as actually being a goal right now from YouTube mm-hmm like some branded content branded yeah, maybe get like five sponsorships this year Five sponsorships. I like that. Thanks for that. Five sponsorships. And then, uh, um, yeah, and then weekly goals. Uh, meet weekly goals are going to be modeling video. Um, walkthrough or Pokemon video. When I'm talking about the Pokemon stuff, if you don't like Pokemon, just ignore it. Um, modeling video, Pokemon video. Um, oh, interview. Slash collab. Um, what do you What do you think? I think that's good. Yeah, it's not like over thing. Don't over 2024 is all about making obtainable goals. Okay, YouTube notes. So now, YouTube notes. Now let's rock. Okay. Okay. Yearly goals. That'd be crazy. I'd, have, I'd get YouTube plaques in my house. Kind. Okay. Two. 50K a month revenue. Okay. A million subs, 50K a month revenue. And one video a day. One video a day. Which translates to what weekly goals? Fuck, my phone's running out of battery. What are my weekly goals for videos to hit? Modeling. Uh, gaming slash Pokemon. Um, 
Oh, one collab. Interview slash collab. Okay, so now I'm gonna do Idea Bank. So here's Idea Bank. So first we'll go. So modeling, clear headedness, reading. Pokemon cards, Pokemon tournaments, TCG gameplay slash vlogs, um, um, clothing. Business endeavors. Um, Q and A. Social media education. Um, I already did books. One shot. To the brain. Oh, uh, working out, just being in shape. Okay, those are those. Are, that's my idea bank. So those are ideas that if I if I need an idea, if I don't know what video to make, here's my idea bank. I can go the, to the idea bank and go buy an idea. Okay, this is my idea bank, and then what else? And then things to optimize. Okay, so thumbnail. Uh, titles. Hashtags, or tags. Description um, and then links. Okay, here's my YouTube notes. I have my yearly goals, weekly goals, idea bank, and optimizing thing. Carrington, do you need to talk? No, I'm good. That's how I do it. Love you guys. This is what my thing looks like. I love you guys. You guys are the bomb.com. Thanks for watching, and that's how I'm going to go about my YouTube. I just spent 48 minutes investing time into myself for clarity for the new year and i feel pretty good about my youtube stuff anything i missed Tavi? no 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 i ate that up all right love you guys